pair of black faded jeans wrapping around my legs as these legs cross over each other while I sit and watch. A mini spa moment for me. A little sitting on this faded black plastic lawn chair tucked under a little bit of shade under this hot Sedona sun. The sun here seeming to be having a little affair with this earth, their passion turning the mesas, the mountains, the bluffs into a soft ready rouge. For nowhere else in this Arizona desert does the land hold such an immense, mysterious power. So I sit, first noticing my toes, not visually, but from the inside, feeling my feet without moving, and only moving up my legs once I felt that urgent throbbing of pulse and energy from my feet. Then slowly to my knees, relaxing them both with a few deep, long breaths, and then onto my upper legs, hips, and waist. With a deep belly breath in and then slowly out, I relax my chest. This life force floods through my body into my back, rushing into my spine and my arms, feeling each inch of my skin, my muscles and bones from the inside, sending energizing breaths and healing my body inch by inch. Now at my neck, I feel my throat, the air passing through my nose. Conscious of my face now, I close my eyes and feel each cheek, each eye, each temple, ear and jaw, one by one. Noticing the energy rise in my face and body, a gentle buzzing sensation, reminding me of the sound of a faraway lawnmower engine buzzing peacefully on a silent, sunny Sunday morning. With a renewed aliveness, a stronger presence in my body, I feel as though I fill it up more fully, using all the little spaces inside of me and filling it with life. So I sit and watch, now squarely in the middle of my mini spa break. Some time has passed. The experience of arriving in my body is timeless, in the three to five minutes that must have lapsed, officially proclaiming the physical space that I take up on our earth for myself. And so I sit and watch, with little judgments, with little mental chatter, and with little anything else at all. A Zen monk, Thich Nhat Hanh, once suggested, Don't just do something. Sit there. Relaxing into that warm, accepting suggestion, I follow Thai with ease, not doing anything else but sitting, and feeling this experience of sitting to the fullest. The fold of my hips, the fold of my knees are delicious to relax into, succumbing to the gravity, gravity, our earth's longing to draw us into her, to merge within her, letting my feet get heavier and heavier, getting so closely intimate with this earth underneath that a half-thought rises up and floats away, saying, Am I growing roots yet? Am I getting as involved as that tree with our earth, sending shoots out, solidly establishing the togetherness with the earth? That tree and these legs inspiring each other to never let go of the ground, feeling grounded and stable, just giving in to the temptation of gravity, pleasure coursing up from the earth and through my legs and into my spine. Now straight, my spine stirs with a long-lost memory, a memory of trust, trusting the lower half of my body to be so strong, so stable, and so grounded that it can soar and take off. The memory slowly turns into the real experience as my spine straightens, pulling strength and vitality from the earth into my core. Creating space and taking up more space, I take even deeper breaths. With a smile, noticing the parallel of that tree's trunk rising solidly towards space, outer space, the sky, grounded in security that the only truth is that she won't let go, ever. With my spine increasing in length, my chest moves forward and my heart lifts gently with each breath towards space. I feel like soaring. My arms and mind rises to the sky, just as my brother from the same mother tree over there rises his arms like branches to the sky. And so, I sit here and do nothing, while the tree just stands there and does nothing.